Hi everyone, Tracy Kantrowitz here, SIAP Program Chair for 2018. And I'm here to share some top tips for presenters. Uh, many of you will be presenting at SIAP and some of you may be first time presenters. Um, so we wanted to prepare a list of tips um, that would be useful for you in preparing your presentations. And these also might be of interest um, and use for long time presenters to help you uh, refresh and brush up on your presentation skills. So the first tip is, if you haven't already, and hopefully you have, um, give some thought to defining the goals for your presentation. Um, think with the end in mind. What do you want the audience to walk away from your presentation remembering? And be sure to, to tee those um, ideas up at the outset of your presentation and conclude with them. If you have a call to action you want to um, impart on the audience, or if you want to, um, if there's a key conclusion you want to drive home, make sure that you really reinforce those ideas in your presentation. Um, second tip is if you're pre uh, presenting or participating in a multi-presenter session like a symposium or a debate or a panel discussion or an alternative session, um, make sure that you connect with other presenters in advance and understand um, what each other is presenting and so that you can make sure that all of your presentations are all aligned to the theme of the session because that's why attendees are, are choosing to attend your particular session. They want to hear different viewpoints, but they want to make sure that there is a nice cohesive set of presentations on a given topic. So take the time. Um, it's worth it to connect with other people in your session to make sure that all of your presentations will be aligned around a particular theme. Um, third tip is make sure you budget your time accordingly. Um, if you're part of a multi-presenter session, the chair of the session um, is likely to be doing this for you. Um, but make sure that you really abide by the time limit for each of the individual presentations and make sure you don't exceed it. There's nothing worse than being the last presenter in the session and being left with too little time to get through your information and you really feel like you get shortchanged. Um, fourth tip is um, really think carefully about the visual um, presentation materials that you'll be using. Um, and that, that's true whether it's a poster or a uh, in-person or podium type presentation. Um, there tends to be a high reliance at SIOP on PowerPoint presentations. Um, and that's fine, but consider the best way to convey your, convey your main messages and findings. Um, imagery and graphics may be really powerful ways of driving points home in addition to traditional text-based um, slide decks. Um, make, make sure that your materials are also le legible um, from far away. Don't use text that's too small. And consider that some of the rooms at SIAP this year are actually very large ballrooms. Um, presenter, or I'm sorry, attendees may be sitting as far back as 75 feet from the, from the screen. So make sure that you're using font that is not too small. Um, you can also um, overcome some of those challenges with some of those large session rooms by uploading your materials to the SIOP document library on mysiop.org in advance so that um, attendees can download the materials um, before or even during the session so that they can see them more clearly. Um, make sure that you also clearly communicate the structure of your session. It's really helpful for audience members to understand where you're going. So give them a roadmap. Give them a sense of what you'll be presenting in your individual presentation so that they have a sense of where you are as you're presenting the information. Uh, no surprise here, but practice is the key to a really effective presentation. Um, it's very clear to audience members who's winging it and who's given really careful preparation and practice to their presentation. Um, and this is especially true when there's a, a specific time limit that you need to adhere to. So make sure that um, as you practice that you're adhering to that time limit and make sure that you're conveying the points that you want to. So practice, practice, practice. Um, another tip is to allow time at the conclusion of your presentation um, to drive home key points and audience implications. Um, keep in mind that audiences may be from very diverse backgrounds. They may not have deep expertise in your particular area. So you want to be sure that you're sending messages and leaving the audience with tech takeaway points that are appealing to those that are very familiar and expert in your area and those that may not be. Um, and finally, for those interested in learning more, so if they attended your session and they want more information from you, make your contact information available to them. Um, you can include a slide um, as a last slide in your presentation that includes your contact information, your email, your phone number, Twitter handle, what have you, um, so that people can contact you for further information if they'd like to follow up after the session. Um, and even make yourself available after the session. 
Some people may need to run to a next session, but if possible, um, on the program, we do allow for at least 10 minutes between sessions, which gives a great opportunity for interested audience members to come up and meet you and learn more about your work or your research and, um, and get and exchange that contact or follow up information. And, and frankly, it feels great. Many, many audience members are eager to compliment um, great work when they see it. So those are some of the top tips for delivering effective presentations at SIOP. Um, we hope this has been helpful.